Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. A very happy Thursday out there everybody watching. Today we get to talk about new releases. I get so excited to do these videos because I don't look at trend moods and Instagram at all. I do have friends that text me new releases uh, so we chat about those. Uh, so I do stay somewhat in the know but uh, for the most part I don't know what's going on. Um, so if you're excited go ahead grab your coffee. I have my third one sitting right here. So let's talk about some new releases. I hope everybody is enjoying their Thursday wherever you are. If you wouldn't mind smashing the like button, make sure that you are subscribed and share with your friends because I like watching new releases and whatnot. But anyways, I'm super excited. I have not been on Tread Moods um, Instagram like I was saying. I believe her Instagram handle down in the description box. Um, In case you're curious, I like to follow along anyways. When I, after I film this, I will like binge watch everybody else's videos. So it's, so it's just a lot of fun. Um, a lot of times they are able to help me talk myself out of um, new releases, which is what I try to do. I, I have a lot of makeup. I need to be talked out of things. <sighs> Last week we did talk about why I really was really curious about the Sabrina, Sabrina palette. I did see swatches. I was like, oh, I think I really do want to get it. It was sold out on, on Alta's website and then I went over to Nyx's website and it was sold out. And I was talking like days after, like over the weekend and it was sold out. I did go to like my lo local store and it's sold out. But my friend Heather Austin it did get the palette. I'll leave her channel down below. I do think she's gonna probably get most likely going to do at least one look with it. Um, so Heather, if you're watching, uh, please do at least one video with that palette. Get ready with me or whatever. But anyways, go watch her channel. Um, she has the palette. She did swatch it over on her Instagram too. So go check her out. So did you get anything new this past week? Let me know down in the comments um, or if there's anything that I should be looking out for. I did get um, a palette at Marshall's, the Lorac Mega Pro 4, I think. I don't know. It's the one that has like a pastel kind of. I found it um, and I bought it. <laughs> I think I wanted to do seven looks with it. I don't know. Anyways, um, I it's coming. It's going to be in my, in my, on my channel for February. Did we talk about these? I thought we talked about these or maybe they, we knew we were coming. Oh yeah, I think we did. The, um, Kylie Jenner is coming out. Well, Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with um lipstick and li lip liner a set um for twenty six dollars, or you can get the whole bundle for one hundred thirty six dollars. Thirty six dollars. Oh, I don't think I've tried anything from um Kylie Cosmetics. I have a lot of friends that absolutely love her lip formula though. So if you are one of my friends that love like have the love the, love the lip formula, let, let everybody know down in the comments. Is this a great deal? Um, I just, I don't, I don't know. Oh, these the uh, oh yes it is yes it is okay we, a couple weeks ago Too Faced had sneaked that they were coming out with a highlighter trio compact um there's a glow a soft glow soft glow soft focus and dazzling they are going to be part of the new Born This Way new neutrals collection it says coming soon still hmm. well we get pictures anyways they kind of remind me a little bit I mean oh I have the hiccups I. Th they almost look like they're a baked formula, like the, uh, uh, the hourglass, um, hourglass. Anyways, this is what it, I mean, other than the shape of it, but like looking at the package or the, the product, it kind of, and I don't know that I like the packaging. That seems weird to have, I don't know. I don't know. I have not, I will be honest, I haven't really been impressed with much from Too Faced as of recently. Um, not that they're bad products, they're just, they're not exciting products. I will swatch these. But I'm not, not like going to leave the house to go swatch them sp specifically. Like if I'm in the area, which um, my town is kind of small. So like <laughs> if I go to town, like I'm in the area. <laughs> um, but if I park in that parking lot, I will probably stop in and, and swatch or I don't know. Maybe I, are you interested in it? I just, what is, what is this? This is cute. This is online at Beautylish. This is a faux fur brush roll. A soft vegan faux fur exterior and buttery vegan leather lining. Um, there's six elastic pockets. It's only, they, they come in two different colors, pink or black. They are only $14 in case you were making an order. That'd be, I mean, that's cute. I don't, I don't, I mean, when I travel, I just, I don't. I do, do I have a bag like that? I don't think I have any use for this kind of a bag. So I think I'm going to pass, but again, if you're making an online order to Beautylish. Oh, what is this? Pillow Talk family. Some new additions. There's, I think we've, didn't we see this eyeshadow palette? 
There's a big eyeshadow palette with 12 shades, $75. Um, all kinds of goodies here to be had. They will be available uh, January 30th. The Beauty Light ones will be available February 26th. Um, I think I can pass. I do very much so want to try the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow formula. I'm not sure if I want to get a quad or if I want to save up and get one of the bars. I mean, the difference between, I think it's like $50. Yeah, her, I just looked it up really quick. Her quads are $53 and then the, um, the big bars are 75. I think I'm more interested in the, the big bars just because, it, I don't know, I can get more shade that way. You're I mean, it's probably equally as far as grams. I didn't check that, but, um, ah, I, 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 I'm watching the bars. I think that's on my list for 2020 is to, to get one of those bars to try out the formula. Unless there's a palette or like quad palette that comes out that I'm just like, oh, you have to have it, um, which there hasn't been yet. ColourPop has some velvet, luxe velvet duos. Oh, I think we talked about these last week. They're now available. Anyways, they're $15 or individually for eight bucks. You can save a dollar if you get to uh, aim passing. I don't really like their lip formula. I have a couple like the lippy sticks, um, but I, their liquids are not my thing at all. <sighs> okay, let's talk about it. So my friends love me and we text all the time. A lot of my friends texted me this palette. Oh, sneak release. Uh, the Natasha Denona love palette. It is limited edition. It is very beautiful. It is just in time for the holiday of Valentine's Day. It is available on their website as well as Sephora. Um, I think Beautylish as well. It will be in stores, I think... Uh, next week, the 8th or something, I remember reading somewhere, the 6th, it will be in stores. Um, I bought it. <laughs> I know. Kelly is, like, over the limited edition. Um, I get kind of frustrated with the limited edition. I say it often. Oh, uh, but I really want it. <laughs> I let myself, um, and I don't think it's FOMO. I don't... The, Mm, I kind of feel icky about saying it because I am against um, limited edition, but I really like it. I don't have anything like it. Um, there might be a couple shades in there that I could possibly come close to duping, and I think that's why I am okay getting it. It is limited edition, but Natasha Denona limited edition, I mean, a lot of times it's a limited edition for like the entire year, so I don't feel bad getting it. Um, it is only $65, and I haven't really, I mean, well... I think the last new release palette I actually did get was the Texture Neutral. So it's been a few months. I did treat myself to this. Um, I'm super excited. It's on its way. Uh, seven looks are coming with it because I cannot wait to get into it. So it is very beautiful. It's in time for a holiday of love. Um, so I didn't talk myself out of it. <laughs> at first I did. At first I was like, no, I don't need it. It's not really like special. But the more I looked at it, the more I was like, no, I really want this in my life. Like I really, really love it. She also I came out with a, a cheek palette, um, the Love Glow cheek palette for $55. I did not pick this up. <sighs> I didn't pick it up. I do really kind of think I want to though because it's like blush toppers, I think. I'm waiting to see reviews on it. Um, but I, oh, I didn't, I did not order it. I did not, I did not, I did not order it. I did order just the palette. I ordered some brushes. Um, they were like $4, but, um, <laughs> I, I only talked myself into the actual, uh, eye paddle, eye pal, eyeshadow palette and not the, the face palette. While it's very, very beautiful, I'm going to wait for some reviews, see how it is. Uh, I don't know. Mm. I'm curious though. Everybody loves her face palettes. Anyways, okay, <laughs> we have to move on. All right, Jen Nude. This is by Bare Minerals. The Beauty of Nature collection is coming out. I think we sneaked the um the eyeshadow palette a couple weeks ago. Um, I haven't really uh, do I don't I have I don't I haven't I don't have much of anything if I can think of anything from Bare Minerals. I've, I. I, that Bare Minerals will always have a place in my heart because that's where my love obsession came from. Um, <laughs> it started it, um, <laughs> for 19 you can join the, the club, 
which I did. But anyways, <laughs> Bare Minerals definitely has my heart. I haven't tried anything from them in a long time, but that blush, the blushes look really, really pretty. Um, they are $24. I wouldn't mind picking up a blush, possibly. Um, it doesn't say that it is limited edition at all. So that's really nice. Um, I won't have to rush out and, you know, grab it. I, I will see. I, I have a lot of blushes. I have a problem with blushes. I know, but I, I am call my blush looks really pretty, but so does that peach though. I'll make sure that there's photos up there. Um, It does say it's formulated with light reflecting mineral pearls that blur the look of pore soft focus finish. Uh, okay, maybe we are going to try that. As long as it's not limited edition, um, I will try that. Definitely don't want a limited edition. <laughs> oh, I'm just kicking myself in the rear. New ColourPop collection. You are your AQT. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. I <laughs> I love their play on words sometimes. Um, I I'm gonna pass on it. Oh man, you know what it almost reminds me of? It almost reminds me of the KKW, the celestial stuff that came out because the the, the the mauvey sparklies is kind of what um draws me to it, which is the same as the um KKW. Anyways, um, not, I'm I'm passing on it. Um um um, <laughs> I am passing on it. Oh, did we talk about it? I know I talked about it. Uh, the Smoky Glow collection has been like sneaked or released or what, whichever. Um, uh, I haven't tried anything from Midas Cosmetics. I'm interested, but this one I think I'm going to pass on. I think it's a little too, uh, I don't know. It originally did not call to me. I, I think uh, I think I'm going to pass on it, um, but it's absolutely fantastic. I, I, it's only $36, and I say that only because that's pretty drugstore price. That's fantastic. It's a great collab. I think it's very, very, very pretty. At the moment, I'm saying no. <laughs> oh, I do like it, though. It's it's very cool. Uh, but I did get the Natasha Denona palette. So, so maybe I can just totally... I haven't seen swatches on it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. This is really cool. Pinky Rose Cosmetics. 11 shades. Matte shimmery finishes for $12. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, these are cool. Uh, I've never heard of the company before. I like... I like the setup. And I like the story they're going with. But I think I'm going to pass. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Fenty Beauty is releasing some new goodies too. Re makeup refreshing spray, a do mist, uh, gloss balm in new shades that we did talk about um, before, and then a trifecta plush matte lipstick lip set for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm gonna pass on all of them. I think I'm pretty set on lippies, and my I have a, a favorite um, do spray that is drugstore priced, so <laughs> I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, but that's cool. I love that she's expanding um, her line and everything. That's absolutely fantastic. Ooh, new Narvina Mini. Oh, this is uh, the Mini a Pro a Pigment a Palette Volume 3 for $29. Nine full size, full size cherry shades. I love the packaging. The cherries is so cute. The swatches are... The swatches are nice. I think I can pass on them. It definitely, I, I absolutely do get the cherry theme of it. Like if I were to think of cherries, I, I, I love it. I love, love, love the color story, but I am going to pass. Eh. Pro uh, Pigments are just not my thing. I'm going to say it. They're just not my thing. I'm going to pass. They're beautiful, but I'm going to pass. What is this new glow recipe lip product? will be in her trend it mood box. It is in addition to the watermelon um, collection. Uh, hello to the watermelon glow lip pop. It will be a three in one scrub to balm that smooths, hydrates, and tends the lips to a universal pop of pink. I am going to pass. I have three, I think, two or three um, 
of those color changing ones and I literally never reach for them. I should just give them to my kids but um because it turns like hot pink on me and I, I just I don't like it or like a baby hot pink Barbie hot pink. I just I don't it's not my thing. I'm passing but that's really cool. Macy's Smashbox new lipstick collaboration Birds of Prey in theater February 7th. Ew. Smashbox does have some really, really nice um, lipstick formulas. I don't want to travel all the way to Macy's, though. <laughs> um, I, the colors are really, really pretty. I'm not a fan of red, which, uh, I mean, oh, but if it's, maybe if it's that cool red, maybe, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't have the prices on these. It's like, ah, I don't know. That's really cool. I didn't know they were coming out with a movie. I don't have cable. So in case you were curious, I don't have cable. I have no idea of like, the, um, I have some people that still don't understand. I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in like six years. Um, and I still have people that are like, oh, did you see that one commercial? No. <laughs> nope. I haven't seen a commercial. Like, no. But that's really cool. I'm excited. Um, we love DC um, Avengers and all the superhero kind of stuff. We love watching that kind of, what is this? Another Mickey Mouse. Uno New Year with Mickey. Who's doing this? Maybelline. Oh, no way. Please tell me this is coming to the United States. Oh, they did that one other time and it didn't come here. There's an eyeshadow palette, lipstick, um, power cover, cushion, foundation, mascara, liquid eyeliner, lip pencil. Okay, well, just flipping through some comments, it said it's sold exclusively in Asia. So that just kind of... I, w I think it would have been okay passing on it anyways. I was really excited about the palette, but then looking at the palette, it looks just like the Natasha Denona one. So, it's coming. It's coming. I don't need it. Oh, Natasha Denona did come out with some lip colors um, that, with her Valentine's stuff. Um, I didn't get any, but just to mention, they are $26 each. There's three of them. Very pretty. Uh-oh. Jeffree Star Cosmetics has new mystery boxes coming for Valentine's Day. There's um, three different levels, $60, $100, $100, $100, $45. Um, available January 31st. So this Friday? Yeah, Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. I don't know if I'm getting any. I, I always watch the reviews. I love watching the reviews on his mystery boxes, but they seem so hit and miss that, like... And I, I know mystery boxes, like, they're they're a gamble, and I don't, I don't know. I would want the big one, but then I would be disappointed if I got the big one, and then it was, like, a total bust, so I'm probably going to pass, but I know a lot of people are really excited about it. No, no to the chocolate. What is this? Good molecule. Good molecule. The Clarify and Cleanse Bar. Ah, uh, eight dollars a piece, sixteen for two or three for twenty-four. I mean, so you're not really saving anything if you're buying extra. It says ultra gentle, soap-free bar it cleanses and detoxifies the skin without stripping, and for a comfortable clean, you can use it for your face and body to leave the skin clear, clear and even. I will be passing only because I, I have plenty of face washes at the moment and I actually do really like most of them. Well, I mean, I like all of them. I'm just trying to use them up, but I also just switched to a bar soap for my body because there is a ton less ingredients. I am highly allergic to so many things that, um, a lot of the body washes I end up having to take back. I do have t shop at Target or Ulta specifically for my body washes because I can take them back. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I pay a little bit extra, but I, right now I'm using the Ulta Beauty, um, is it the, the, the hydrating, uh, bar with shea butter or something? I love it. It gives me a really great clean. It smells really nice. Like the, the scent lingers. Oh, new from Mac. What is this? Glow Play Blush. Ooh, cushiony blush. Oh, I don't have any cushiony blushes. They're $30 each. Sheer to medium buildable cover. Color. Ooh. I do like the Stila Bouncy Highlighters. I'm very curious. I will be playing with them in store. Are they coming to me? Oh, they better come. What is this crystal? Ooh, crystal Gardenia Crystal Violet Moss by KKUW Fragrance for $35. I will be smelling this in store. 
I love the packaging. That is just, it's so very unique. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? More flower stuff. Please don't be crazy. Please don't be crazy. Kiko Milano, that's promising. Yay! Oh my gosh. So for all of us that was super excited about that blush that was like $180 a couple weeks ago, <laughs> or last week, I don't remember. Kiko, Kiko Milano is, um, aren't they just considered drugstore, I think? They're affordable. Anyways, they are at Ulta. I wonder if these are going to be at Ulta. Uh, it does not say if they will be. There's a long list of absolutely beautiful things. Ooh. Oh, I want all of it. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow, look at all that stuff. It's so pretty. Oh. The perfecting powder, uh, the radiant bronzer, the blush. Oh, it's so pretty. And they do have that imprint. The outside packaging is also beautiful. The eyeshadow pile is really beautiful. I'm very, very interested in this. I love the packaging. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Are you picking up anything up? Is there anything that you want me to get? It doesn't say that it is, um, limited edition. It looks like it's just additions to their, oh, lovely, lovely products. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Too Faced came out with like they, a sneak peek to a uh, neutral palette. <laughs> I'm passing on it. It's so boring. Oh my gosh. I love neutrals. Love neutrals, but wowie zowie. Like, no, I don't want this from Too Faced at all. Oh, what is this? Hourglass. Four palettes, diffuser, edit, dim edit, ethereal edit, luminous edit. Four. You have three of their products, face products. Maybe I can get one of these instead of, because I never did get one of the, um, the eight pan six pan, uh, holiday palettes. I really, really wanted them on. Oh, I, it doesn't say the price on these. I really want one. Is this like something they do? I will be honest. I haven't tried much from, um, Hourglass. It's been something that I don't really pay too much attention to, but I've always wanted to try them. I don't know. Is this something they usually do? If so, uh, help me pick some colors. Is this a different collection? This is ColourPop collection Valentine's Head of Heels. Was this different? I think this is different than we talked about like five seconds ago. But anyways, uh, here's some more ColourPop. <laughs> Ow! ColourPop, you're killing it. Um, I'm passing on it. <laughs> oh, some more ColourPop, um, but their sister company, Soul Body, has some, um, additions as well. That's really cool. I'm still passing. What is this? Serum Detents by... Uh. Yep. <laughs> In five shades. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I apologize for laughing, but like it's 2020, why do we have five shades? Um, I'm going to pass. Um, nope. What is this? What is this? Makeup, makeup, a murder? Um, maybe I'm saying a partner in crime eyeshadow palette for $34. Oh no, I was just owing and eyeing and I don't know where I cut off. I looked up to talk to you and then you were not there. Uh, hopefully let's ooh and odd for a minute. I, I love this. I, I, I love this. This is so beautiful. It is absolutely beautifully set up. So it's, it, oh, this gradient. Urgh. I've never heard of this company. This is beautiful. Are you getting this? Are you? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I think I'm going to pass on it just because it's really close to the Natasha Nona that I did buy. So, who? That is all that has been posted as of three hours from now. All right, let's go back and let's look through all of these screenshots that I did. Um, Semi-interested in the Too Faced uh, set, but I think I actually will pass um, because the Hourglass is coming out with one, and I think I'm more interested in the Hourglass than I am Too Faced. Again, it's just, Too Faced is one of those, I was hard, like, hard, like, loving everything. Um, I bought a lot. I tried a lot of their formulas. Um, definitely a brand that I feel like is hit and miss for me. 
I don't really, I mean, their face products never really wowed me, to be honest. So I think I am going to pass. I probably will still swatch this because that's what I do. Um, but I'm really interested in the hourglass ones that weren't prices or when they were coming or anything like that, but I'm very interested in them. If you have any of them, or like I said, if this is something that they do, um, let me know. Let me, let me know, uh, if there's a good one or not. Um, anyways, uh, what else? I, yes, I bought, I did buy one of the new releases. I, I did buy the Natasha Denona love palette. Just the love palette. I did not get the cheek palette. I am going to be watching, um, some reviews on it, I think, but I think I'm, I like the other, the, the was it the, a blush, blush and glow palette or something that she came out with last year? It was just more than just a blush topper. I don't think I need a blush topper because I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a blush topper. Or if it's just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to be watching, watching, watching on that. I'm crazy curious. Crazy curious about the Kiko Milano, though. <sighs> I'm not talking myself out of everything. Ow. I'm very, very curious in the Hourglass. And I'm very, very, very curious in the Kiko Milano. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, and then there was the Bare Minerals, um, the blushes. Mm, I'm going to do more research on the blushes, see if they are limited edition, because they look like they are limited edition, just in the packaging that they are in. Um, but maybe I will try something from Bare Minerals. Do you have any suggestions? Um, I know a lot of people like the concealer. Uh, I don't know. If you're watching and you're a Bare Minerals, like, fan, let me know what's good from the brand still. <laughs> I mean, it is where my love obsession did start. Definitely still watching Charlotte Tilbury as a brand to see. I want to try her eyeshadows. Um, I've mentioned that a couple times. I, watching. I don't think I needed the bar that she's coming out right now, but um, still watching, like I said. And I think... Did I talk myself out of the... Nope. I'm still not talked out of the Natasha Denona face palette. Not buying it right now. And see, I can't even drive to the closest Sephora because they won't get it in store. Like, they won't. And it's very, very small. They won't get it. Uh, and I am not driving two hours to a Sephora detention store. <laughs> There's that. Um, <laughs> Sephora, you need to come more north into Michigan. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're really far away. So, Hourglass, absolutely... I actually, I can't even say absolutely. I am getting, I am watching and waiting for a price. Um, and then your suggestions is it, would you, I mean, do you think it would be worth it? Or are these minis? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I really want to try it. And hopefully I don't know. Was it, it doesn't say that they're limited edition either. So I would actually, I am stocking Hourglass and I'm stocking Kiko Milano. And that's where I'm going to put it. I did buy something that was new release this week. Um, I didn't, wasn't able to talk myself out of it. I did talk myself out of it. And then I talked myself absolutely right into it. <laughs> um, I am really excited about it though. And like I said, I'm kind of at peace with it because I do pass on almost everything. Um, and the, the last new release I got was the texture control. So that is going to be it for this week. Are you putting anything on your wish list? Are you watching anything? What caught your um, attention? Is there anything I missed? Are there other websites you want me to check out too? Um, I feel like it would be kind of extensive if I like did a bunch of websites, but it, maybe if there's another Instagram account you want me to um, follow. I, I don't, I'm not on Instagram as much as I used to be and I'm trying to get back into it, but now like I'm blocked. I can't like interact. I can't follow new people and my DMs aren't working. Still, I... I email customer service daily. <laughs> They're probably going to block my account soon. But anyways, I hope you had an amazing Thursday. Hope you had fun sitting down and kind of chatting. If there's anything that you want to see a video on specifically, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Or if you just have video suggestions, leave them, leave them down in the comments. Let me know. Or, I mean, I guess you could tweet at me. My tw Twitter DMs do work if you want to catch me over there. But I hope you guys have an amazing blessed day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.